Hey, hello and welcome once again. Just refresh the image. If this is the first time visiting, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification icon. If you have any questions, you can contact me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So, in this video, I want to be showing you how to do this manipulation. This one in particular. So, with no further ado, let's jump into action. Well, this is what my picture looked like before. Not even like this, it's worse than this. So, this what happens while you are using a seamless studio backdrop especially when it's a paper one so it tends to have rough background it tends to have blemishes there so you editing your picture and making them nice that comes after but i don't want to see you guys complain after this video that uh my background is done that's why my picture doesn't look nice you can actually do the editing yourself and make it look nice there are tons of videos on my channel that will show you how to remove blemishes from background perfectly and also how to retain the shadow in the picture but while doing the manipulation if you are unable to retain the shadow i won't call it manipulation at all because if you look as him your object or your client is sitting on air which will look other nice so whatever you do in your manipulation make sure you know how to retain your shadow make sure you know how to keep your shadow intact if not your manipulation will look nice but that's not what we are here for in this particular tutorial. We just want to do just a little bit of editing, nothing much. Just bringing in our feather overlay. So, with no further ado, let's jump into that. So, as you can see, I've already removed the blemishes from the background. Let me show you that. Here's what our background looks like smooth. Our shadow is still there. I retain the shadow. I try my possible best to do that. So the shadow is still there, the true shadow, the foot shadow, everything is still there. So our picture is looking other than nice, but I don't like the way my picture is right now. I love Google doing something extreme. So now let me add a little bit of smooth effects to my picture. I don't like the way all the background is looking all the same. So let's add a little bit of smooth effects there. So for me to do that right now, let me open all this layer. So this is the layer I've worked on, all my groups as you can see right now my dodge and bone, my everything, I've already do, do the retouching and stuff so I'm going to be doing a little bit of smooth effect, want me to do that you know, I already use my Eclipse Mark Way 2 I have other shapes I can use for my smooth effect but this is the, just the one that goes with what I love doing the most so I'll just hold down my shift key, I'll drag cycle around my model so I'll just to the area I want it to be Control shift and I to invert the selection you can invert the selection or you can just leave it this way to do the other way around so i just have to go to my adjustment layer over here then i'll click on my curves as you can see right now and i'll bring down my curve a little bit bring it down until i see what i want as you can see right now i already have what i actually need which is this cycle thing over here if it's not enough let's bring it down again as you can see right now so let's say we're done with that but the edge is looking rather sharp so we can just feather the edge like it's going to blend in perfectly how to do that let's control plus as you can see so you just have to click on the max if you click on the max you're going to pop up the property bar for you if the property is not here if your property is not here just go to your window under your window you see the property there so close that back so let's increase our feather let's see okay 20 by 0 is okay for my feather right now so that being said let's bring in what we promised to bring in which is our what is our feather so this feather is going to be the cheapest of all my editing files so you can actually use it in any picture i don't want to show you a particular picture i didn't use it for it's a client picture so once i gain the permission from my client i'm going to be posting the picture the picture is very very nice so the feather files are already custom made there all you just need to do is drag and drop and clean from the area you're supposed to clean from and you actually have a perfect result more than even expected so let me go to my farm manager this is what my feathers looks like so i have the one of four black backgrounds and i have the one for white backgrounds so you can decide to use any one so let me just drag it one let me and show you what i'm talking about so this is the one i just dragging right now wait for it to load up so I'll adjust it to portrait size as you can see. Then I'm going to I'm going to extend extend to the edge. Um if you are using Photoshop CC 17 or below, 
know that if you want to adjust like this dragging from your free transform tool make, make sure you're holding down your shift key if not you're even seeing anything above you don't need to hold down your shift key you just have to do the dragging just like that as you can see you just have to place in my feather right now click on my ok but as you can see right now it's already covering my model space it's looking all nice but the way it's covering my model face i don't like the way it is right now so i just do a little bit of cleaning there i'll just create the max on it the feather will just drag in right now i make sure i pick, pick my brush color make sure the color is on black and make sure my opacity is fill the color is on black and the opacity of the brush is at 100 percent and i'll increase my brush size increase the size then i'll clean it off on her face just her face alone so that her face will be showing so boom just like that you can decide to clean off any area i don't want it to be as you can see right now it's already added a little bit of blur for some parts so it's looking all that realistic okay let's delete this and bring in another one let's go back to our file manager again so let's look for another one you can pick any one any random one let's take into our photoshop wait for it to load up as you can see right now ctrl t for free transform then hold down the shift key if you are using the lower version of photoshop you can see so i just want to fill the entire document so click on your ok wait for it to load up so what you just need to do is just remove it from the area especially the face that you don't want it to be so let's go back and use the one we are using before which is this so we're already done with that but i don't like the actual color my studio background is giving me so i just feel like changing the color you're like wow is this not going to take a whole step again it's not going to cost me about four five minutes so the step i'll be showing you right now you can change your background color in less or less than a minute you're going to change your studio background color so let's just jump into that for you to do that right now make sure whatever you are doing right now you are directly below your model layer here's our model layer over here so i'm directly below it the layer below it so i just have to go to my adjustment layer and then i'll click on my hue and saturation wait for it to load up you can just do a simple color change by clicking on colorize once you click on it boom automatically it's going to change your studio background color for you but if you're not satisfied with what it's giving you just mess it mess around with your hue until you get what you actually need you can see just change the color to anything you want Okay, let me go with this. Let me just bring down the opacity. I'm going with a little bit of ash. So it's going to match with the one we are using right now. As you can see, boom. We already did a simple background manipulation. I know you guys will be expecting this manipulation to be so much uh, like wow, how am I going to do this feather to be like this? But once you just have the file, you're good to go. So the file is just for two thousand naira. For those outside Nigeria, it's going to be sell for seven dollar because of the charges and stuff. So you can actually get them and manipulate them for your studio picture so that's all for today's tutorial and also if you don't want to be buying files like this you want to be able to get them yourself maybe uh, wow i don't want to buy files again i want to be able to manufacture myself and discover new things myself you can actually buy my video course it's going to show you some site i use to get everything because most of the time i don't have any idea i just go there and exploit the sites whenever i'm less busy then i search for what i need not even what i need just search for keep searching for materials Let's go to overlays, go to stuff, then I search. Once I see what I wow, this will be lovely. I'll have to download them, I keep on my PC. I might not actually need them there. Then maybe you one day I'm just messing around with my Photoshop. I just go to where my files are located. Boom, automatically it's going to work for what I need. So it will be better for you guys to have my video calls. Once you have that, then you're good to go. So that's our tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And also turn on the notification icon. If you have any questions, you can contact me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. See you guys on my next tutorial. One love.